When you run out of anime to watch, have you ever thought to yourself, am I watching too much anime? Has there been too much anime? The answer is no. There's never such thing as too much anime. In fact, if anything, there's not enough anime. Uh, and, uh, that's all the advice I got. Yeah, just never enough anime. Today we're making a May Cafe, so let's get started with that. Probably, I don't know. I have two poses right here, but I don't. I really don't know what I'm exactly what I'm gonna do with them. I was thinking of having this like guy in the background be like a butler shaking something into a glass, and then this girl holding a tray, maybe a little background, and then some type of a uh, table or something. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna just draw a simple May Cafe. Don't know what I'm going to do with this hair. Have no clue, actually. Maybe I'll make it like a, a short kind of bob. Yeah. Something easy to draw.
some reason I'm feeling like these tables should be a lot larger than they are. Don't know why I draw them small though. Here we go. Boom. This girl size exactly how I wanted it to be because she's short, but she's in the foreground. So let's keep it that way for now. This table should be larger. Spoiler alert. Uh, well, you know, I won't do any spoilers, but long story short, I'm kind of sad about my hero. Yeah, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, sorry, uh, watch my hero. <laughs> it's good, but uh, such a good show, such a good show. I'm mostly sad that the season's over. Well, I guess it's mid-season. It's like season seven of the show, but uh, kind of missing it already. Last episode was a banger. I will say that. For real though, if you don't watch my hero, watch it. Watch it and then come back and then talk to me about it. Let's see here, this dress, I want to kind of sit on here and then come off of here. Like that. I guess I don't have to think that hard because she's not like you see like this side as much. Okay, so let's put that down. Let's see. Bake. Last. Maybe I'll put the logo right here. Logo. Sill one will go right there. And then still so we're gonna get one silhouette over here, and then we'll get another one over here and another one right there. And we'll make it simple, we'll just put them on like little like stools. Something super simple. Yeah, we'll we'll put like the Hue Venture logo like right there in the end somewhere. I don't know. I'm probably just gonna do text for real. I'm not gonna think that hard. Uh what else I wanna do? Let's I want to give this guy more of like since it's a May Cafe, we let's give him more of like a a butler kinda outfit. Maybe should it be a vest? I don't know. You know what? Yeah. Let's not do a vest. Let's make it more, way more butlery than normal. Like give him like the little, I don't know what you call it, but like the little handkerchief in the middle. With like the frills and then like a bow tie. And I know I know this doesn't look exactly like it, but uh 
It's just enough for me to understand where to put things. It it will make sense to me, okay? Honestly, at first I thought about just like drawing myself in there, but uh, I really don't know how I'm going to do the hairstyles later. So if I, if someone says I should and they really want to see it, you know, I may just like just draw myself. But for now, I think. Yeah, that's good. We kind of got what we want, except for the May outfit, which is kind of the focal point. So we we might, these two are the focal points, which means they'll have the most detail. So maybe we want to want to figure out what she's going to look like. What kind of maid outfit she's going to have for real which I have no idea what kind of made outfit. So I'm thinking, when I was thinking May Cafe, I was thinking like <laughs> cutesy, like ones you see in like cosplaying Japan somewhere. So like maybe an apron kind of thing right here. And then I'm thinking maybe we should do like a cuff on like where the shoulder is, but it's not like you can see much of her shoulder anyway. So I guess that doesn't really matter. I know lots of them have like those little bib style cuts right there in the middle. Yeah, and then maybe like sometimes had like these little white lines going down. And those white lines kind of have those like frills. I don't know, is that a good one? Let me look up some pictures real quick. <laughs> it's like, I, I really don't know that much of like the most popular made outfits if there's any okay okay all right so i see some if i'm going to go the short sleeve route then i don't i guess i don't need to think as hard it seems like the little bit part is probably the way to go. That's what I see on most of them, at least. She's kind of turned to the side because her like front part is like, like the very front of her body is like right here. So we should definitely pay attention to that. There we go. And it seems like the much more simple ones don't even have all that. They just like, hold on, let me move this down, push this over. Other ones I'm looking at are like, they kind of have like this little square kind of like cut above the chest. And then like the whole part 
is like all white. And then the dress part is like black. That's a, like a simple one. And this one's like more like frilly on the bottom, which I could do it like that. That's totally an option. I could do that. That'll be really simple. And then what I've seen is some of them have like these like bow ties, like right here. They're like usually like a red or a blue. And these arms have like these like frill cutoffs right there. But that's more of like the kitchen style maids though. And I don't know if I want like the kitchen style made. I think I want more of like hmm. I think I want more of like a serving kind of like master kind of made master servant kind of made if that makes sense like uh, definitely like the meme kind of like made um, so let's look up some pictures. Let me show you guys some these pictures, but, uh, definitely let's go for the mean. So <laughs> what I'm looking at is we got, uh, we have the bib, okay. So that's there, that's there for sure. And we kind of got this lower in the front. All right. We have a short sleeve, so looks like it's kind of like the sleeve is kind of poofy. And then there's like a short cuff or frill right here. I like that it kind of looks like her breast is like in the way or it's like her hand is like sitting on it. So I'm going to take advantage of that. It'll make her look cuter. Uh, we do have a white part, but it's all the way on the bottom. So let's figure out a way. tie that in okay so with that that's more like she has like it strapped to her Okay, so we got it. That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely like Stratzer. We can make the skinnier.
phone. Okay, that's not bad. If we wanted to, we can add a bow, but it's not necessary, but we can. And from afar, it doesn't look really bad, actually. What will sell it is if we had one of those kind of Little heads, hat pieces that will sell it. It's not bad. And since the hair, since she's kind of leaning her head, we can kind of kind of put the hair kind of like it's going out a bit to really sell that she's like tilting her head. Yeah. You know what? I'm all right with that. Let's go with it. Yeah, it's not bad. And then we'll make it look like she's holding her hair a bit right here. Since we have the hand right there, we might as well, might as well use it. Nothing wrong with that. And I don't need to worry about size too much because I already size the characters exactly how I want them to be. So it's totally cool to just do it this way. But let's keep going. Her arms are kind of iffy. I might change that a bit. I'll make it look pretty later, but uh, <laughs> you get the point. She's she's in her maid outfit. Um, all we want is right where her knee is. We kind of want to give her some some socks. 
we'll make it all black, but on this part right here, we want to kind of stop it. And then that's where we'll add like a little frilly piece. The shoes, keep it simple, but let's go ahead and give her almost kind of like flats in a way. We'll give her a little bit of a heel, but it will make it fat because it has to be more of like a practical kind of thing. Yeah, way more practical. Uh, but I was looking at have them stop like right there. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's going to be all black anyway. So I'm going to have to like make this more like a dark gray kind of sock and then change it from there this is too much i need to make that way smaller think about right here Nice, nice. What else we want to do? I'm thinking, you know what? Since it's the focal point, let's just start on the butler. This is just a rough anyway. I need references bad though. for a bar. Oh, uh, you know what? Typically, we want to look at ones in May cafes. They're either completely suited up or they're like vest and very fancy tie uh typically i see i like i think i like since i gave her like the frilly bow tie i'm thinking i want that on the butler too make it like very specific kind of butler made so brace that let's go 
go ahead and do that. Uh, that's more like... Now, I did look at some references for this just now, but uh, <laughs> I've also been in one of these before. <laughs> For like, not really a play, but like kind of like a play when I was younger. So they're they're just really thin, and then they go out to like right there. Sometimes they're a little uneven, <laughs> but uh, they're super thin. That's about all that there is to it, but it does look really good when it's like When a person's like collared a bit. And that that's an exaggeration right there, because uh the collar should be like way smaller. Okay, so after that, um, we're going to have to choose whether we want them suited or not. This is going to be a tough one, because uh, it can go either way. It might even make or break the look of it. <laughs> Cause we don't wanna, we don't wanna, we want to kind of sell her, but we don't want to completely undersell the male. Um, but the black is gonna be prominent in here. So I'm thinking it's safer if we suit him. Yeah, let's do that. Let's suit him up. And this kind of suit is very thin. Uh, I'll stop like right here. That's not bad. Okay, so this part we're going to have to think about it real hard. <laughs> I'm not sure what I like. I don't want to like give him like a, a bottle thing, but uh, I'm not sure. I was thinking I like give him like a tumbler, which is why he like 
would have this kind of thing. But a tumbler is more like out here, like that. If I want to do that, I should have put his hand the other way. Hmm. Let's erase this for now and think about it. We can make it fancy. I think we can make it fancy. Which means we we kind of don't have to think about the tumbler. We can just eyeball. So we're going to see him from afar. Even though we're going into details now, we don't have to go that far in details because we're going to see him like way back here. So what we can do is we can just exaggerate what it could look like. Okay, we need to erase all this in order to get this right. Nice, nice. Not bad. Uh, let's add a line. Need to know where things fall. Actually, you know what? Let's add that on a different layer. And we, what is this layer? Three, two, okay, I'll tell you what. Let's get rid of layer two. Let's turn down the notes for now. Let's go to layer three. Let's add a line. Add a line where we think that will be that's too high. Yeah, that's about right. Um Camera's more over here, so let's make this line a little bit like that. You know what? We don't need to do that, actually. I'm trying to guess where the table will end. Can't go too far out. Oops. Let's not do that. Let's try right here. Yeah, that's about it. And then last one would be right before the feet. And then a little right here.
Okay, that's better. Oh, we can also add one right here. And it doesn't make any sense now, but this essentially is like, um, it's like under lip, like you kind of like tell like, what's underneath the table, if that makes sense. I'll just make like a few of them just so people can see. Boom. And those lines may or may not even be there. I may actually get rid of them and then just like paint them in. But since this is on its own layer, yeah, that's on its own layer. We can actually color part of that in. So We'll put in a song group called Bar. We'll add another layer underneath this. Call that one line. And then call this one color. Then what we can do is we will just paint it in. So we'll actually make this like a dark brown kind of thing. And then make this slightly lighter brown right here. And then make this more of a yellowish kind of brown right here. Okay. And then that will make sense when we like do that in front. Easy peasy. Okay. Uh, eventually, what we're, what we're going to do is we, we got to draw her head a little bit bigger. Let me get off the paint tool for this. But eventually we'll draw our head a little bit bigger, um, more anime-ish is <laughs> what I'm going for. Oops, that's not what that does. There we go. Let's turn this back on. Yeah. Side. So she didn't make her head that big, but it will be that big. Hmm. 
eventually. There we go. Much better. And I need to see where things are. So that's where the nose. That's where her eyes are. That's the front of her head. Boom. Okay. Got it. I need to do the same thing here. Ooh. Um. I think I did that on the wrong layer. Yeah. Try that again. <laughs> Actually, that's even better because her head needs to be like out here. Okay, and then this guy needs a bigger head too. So let's go ahead and do that. Anime head, his eye, his nose, his ear, his head. I think his head is, is a little bit too big, but uh, actually, it's closer than I thought it would be. Yep, there we go. And we need to know what the front is. Of course, it's still right there. Boom. And we will make him look older by like dropping his nose like down there. Give him a bit of a bridge and then putting his eyes kind of smaller up here. And if it's me, if we're going to eventually turn this into me, that will kind of make sense because my eyes are <laughs> much more menacing, <laughs> if that makes sense. The eyebrows will be up there. And this hairline would be like right here. You know what? Let's just turn this into me. Yeah. Not a big deal. We can do that. It's for the channel. Why not? We'll turn ourselves into anime. <laughs> My jacket wouldn't be that skimpy though. <laughs> I know that. So let's go ahead and increase the size of this real quick. <laughs> And this we don't have to worry about 
because the feet we won't see. So let's go ahead and turn those two off. And I don't know where the bar stools were. So let's go ahead and add those back in. Make that blue. And what we'll do, we need a better way of showing this. So what we can do is just get an ellipse. Not bad. And then get an ellipse right here. Or not. And then one right here. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense actually. And then when we're done, we'll just, we'll put these in their own layer. So that way we can just drag them on top later. And then we can make our own like bar stools and just place some in strategic section, so we'll leave this on the rough for now, and uh, let's make some bar stools real quick. Bar stool. Add one layer. Add this layer. Add another thing. Move that down. Let's put these two in it. Let's call this rough. Cool, cool. That works, that works, that works, that works. In here, we'll just draw real quickly. What? No, I hate that. <laughs> I'm gonna be real honest. I I hate it. Uh, let's use the curves tool instead. It's a little bit better. I can deal with that. Then this way we can make like a bunch of them if we just like take the size of it and make it bigger or smaller and then put it in different ways. Like I'm going to draw people sitting on them. So it's not like anybody's going to see that part. And if we need to change it, we can just like, we can manipulate what it'll be like. Yeah, all good. So let's just put one right here. Control C, Control V. Or not.
Control C, Control V. And then what I would do, instead of making these copies, we might end up putting them in their own layers with like the line and the color and the shadow. Well, not the shadow, we'll update the shadow at, at the very last. Update the shadow not in the very last thing, but we'll put the line and the color together in the folder. And then we'll just copy that folder and then manipulate the size later and then do it that way. That'll be much easier. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's looking good so far. If I turn this off and size the bar tools, if I, where is the rough? Oh, you know what? That's not on. That's what it is. Yeah, if I turn it on, it doesn't look bad, actually. I'm gonna like this. I'll draw maybe three people and I'll make the bar look a little bit fancier. And then we'll have ourselves a little May Cafe. We may put some like pinks and, and reds in there somewhere and then the words Hue Venture. Maybe some LED lights on the bottom of the bar. Yeah. You know, it'll, it'll look cute. I got this. Got this. <laughs> and uh, you got this too by liking and subscribing and sharing it around. So if you like this video or you like the stream and you want to see more streams in the future, please support it by just watching it and telling your friends that, hey, there's somebody out here that's really bored in making anime drawings on Mondays. And if you like that stuff, then uh, tell other people to like it too, all right? <laughs> Until then, I will see you next time. Uh, bye.